hello friends in this video I'm going to show you how you can make a request from an API and get the data so here we're gonna make a request to time API which is free so we can start by adding a library to our gradle file which is volley library here I have already added it to save your time and mine also I will give a link below in description from where you can get this implementation and paste it in your build.creator file so after that I we have to take internet permission in manifest file so go to your manifest file and write users permission internet and this is it and now let's just make a text view where we will show our data so text view have yeah, a uh, simple design quite simple design and now let's initialize the text view data and here we will we'll make a JSON object I mean Java object find with the ID R dot ID dot and now we will make a string which will hold our URL so let's bring the URL from the website so here in world time API you will get the URL right here and just copy it and URL. and one most important thing now change the HTTP to HTTPS it is very important otherwise it will not work now we'll make a json object request using volley library so json object request request equals new json object request and here we'll use the method request dot method dot get method and next parameter will be our url and third one will be null and next will be uh, listener so new response listener and we will go here and make separate it using a comma and we will make another error list and now let's add the semicolon and here we will get our data so from here i want to get the date time get date time you can get anything but i will for example i will get the date time so as you can see get time is in a string so we'll uh, make a string equal string date time equals response and here response is having every single data that we requested and here we will write data. and here I will just add it data dot set text and it needed to be surrounded in try catch because it can throw an error so what we will do is we will make a try catch block paste it inside here and catch exception and nothing and here paste it this is it and if I run this 
we need to add request dot new request context dot add and request and now this time it will work and as you can see guys here we go we got the date time okay let's see yeah exactly we got it and now what i'm gonna do is i will just get the date i mean only the date so how we can get it it's very easy so like, we'll make another string name date equals and we will simply split the date time date time dot split and as you can see from time from this key t we can separate them both so we will use t and we will get the first part right and this is it and now date time we will change it to the date and if i'll run it again you will find out that it will only display the date let's see here we go so guys i think it helped you and if it helped you then consider subscribing it's free and you can get more videos like this if you are stuck somewhere then comment down below i will solve it and if you want video on any other topic comment it down below and i will definitely try to make up thank you guys thank you for